up guys Jared here we are on the river after seems like years since we made our uh, our last video I think the last video was that uh, that shad the winter shad video but uh, as, right now it's early spring it's actually today is a uh, March 20 uh, 29th which is good Friday happy Easter everyone who sees this this video will probably open up uploaded after Easter but yeah we're here fishing the river and uh, we're looking for a flathead or any catfish if we can if we can get it but I'd really like to get a flathead sitting in I think four foot of water uh, waters water temps in the uh, in the high 50s low 60s so if we can uh, if we can maybe get find a place that around their uh, those flathead wintering holes we might have a chance but I have uh, live chub minnows for bait and that is it I do have my uh, my bow fishing bow so if I do see an Asian carp or any other kind of carp, I'll probably smoke that and try to try to get it for some cut bait. Uh, stick with me, and uh, thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, we are fishing. It's been a while since I've been on the uh, been on the old river, or really anywhere. Yeah, it's been uh, it's kind of been going through it a little bit, but uh, you know what? We're we're back on the river. We're fishing, and life is good. Yeah, like I said earlier, the boat's sitting about four foot of water, and water temps you know high 50s low 60s 59 degrees right now pushing uh pushing five o'clock at the moment and, uh, i'm gonna head down to another spot that i uh that i suspect has some flatheads holed up in it i'm gonna go to, we're gonna hit that for probably an hour or so once it gets closer to dark we're gonna Throw some fresh baits out and see if uh, see if anyone's home. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Well, we sat here for about half an hour, and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna reposition and uh, go downstream a piece and find another uh, find another piece of real estate that looks juicy and set up on it. Just a couple little dink taps. Nothing nothing too crazy. No fish. So. Probably move on. All right, we we're set up in our second spot. Looks like the sun's about to go down, but it's really only only barely six o'clock. Just be a pretty big hill here. Um, this spot is a uh, our baits are sitting about you know, seven foot of water, and the current is a lot a lot slower down here. I have a feeling there might be some fish in this hole. Um, found this spot last year and uh, it's kind of interesting there's like a natural like rock wing dam that pops out kind of comes out into the river goes down to like seven eight foot then it comes back up to about oh, a foot below the water then it goes back down to about six or seven so it's kind of like a natural wing dam that comes out right there and uh, I caught a small flathead off of it last year and I'm wondering if there's might be some more in here but we got a variety of baits out and they're fresh so we'll see uh see if we can get something to hook up got our first real bite guys i think it's a channel cat i'd i quit guessing because i'm terrible at guessing what these fish are he's liking that chub minute though just can't seem to get that that hook in his mouth i just need to be patient with this guy let him get that hook hook in the right place. Might be a gar, who knows. Here, kitty, 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 come, kitty, come, kitty, come.
got a fish on. <laughs> we got a fish on. All right, that outside rod. He hit it real slow. Okay. That's what's up, man. He's feeling really good. Yeah, I can keep him on. What do we have here? It's running up river now. This is my drag a little bit. Ooh, pulling drag out. Oh, he just realized what's going on. All right. I'm excited now. I was just thinking about moving. What is this? Oh, man. <laughs> I believe that is a flathead. Look at that thing, he's pulling drag. Oh, you stay it. Get this net ready. Ooh, it's a decent one too. Yeah, he's pretty decent. All right. All right. Just gotta get him close now. happy about what's going on right now <laughs> all right come on bud he's a nice fish he's a nice fish oh man for sure cool very cool he got all the way to the boat before he realized what was going on then the fight started that is what we are after guys look what this big fish ate look at this big thing ate it's that little chub minnow My sinker's gone. Interesting. This is the earliest flathead I've ever caught. That is cool. That is a darn good one. I forget how much his net weighs, but yeah, he's a high 20s for sure. Mid 20s anyway. Sweet. Well, that's pretty cool. First flathead of the year. In the, I'd say I'll call him 25. That's cool. Just a little chub minute. <laughs> Can't believe it. What an awesome fish, man. What an awesome fish. Right. Woo! That 
was cool. All right, guys, here's what that fish ate. That's it. Just a chub minnow with his, with his tail cut off. No big crazy baits tonight. The water temp's only in the high 50s, low 60s, so they're still a little lethargic, but uh, they're biting. I really needed that. That was awesome. Let's do that again. You know what, guys? That is the first fish I've caught on this new Big Cat Fever rod. So we're breaking these uh, these white Big Cat Fever rods in the right way. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's do that again. I wonder if there's a bigger one back there. Yeah, that's weird because that, that rod was out, out toward the middle. I'm about to throw another one out. I'm about to throw another one out that way. And wait another 10, 15 minutes. So I, was, I was thinking about leaving. I know, I'll probably stay for a little bit anyway. That was cool. Rods are still kind of getting hit. I'm thinking about maybe getting out of here, cutting my losses while I'm ahead. I won't get sopped in the fog, but uh, I got a lot of bites right after I caught that fish. There was a point where all three of my rods were getting hit. It seemed like they were smaller fish, but it was like I had nothing, 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 and then that big fish, and then it seemed like some smaller fish moved in. See? Yeah. Might be turtles, too. It's hard to tell in the freaking river. But, uh, yeah, I went to get my uh, anchor light here and uh, f figured out my uh, black wire is severed. So that's not cool. And this is why carry your backup. Carry some tools in your little John boat box to remedy problems like this. These are very cheap pair of wire cuts. Oh, that one in the river. Oh no. Yeah, it's supposed to rain here in a little bit and I'm not I'm not trying to deal with all that. Not tonight. I brought my rain jacket just in case, but uh Yeah, I'm good on it. It's the type of stuff you gotta you gotta do when you own a boat, guys. I just I uh, didn't uh, didn't check that uh, anchor light. That is good enough for government work. Very down and dirty electrical, with Jared. It works. So we're good to go. It's good. It's pushing ten o'clock, and uh, we've just got a bunch of dink bites since uh, since that flathead. So. Uh, if I stuck around, I'd probably eke out another fish, but I think I'm just going to cut my losses and get out while I'm ahead. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.